The province of Nova Scotia began a new campaign this year to raise awareness about how to spot blue-green algae and what to do if you encounter it this summer. Their website displays a list of lakes updated with reported sightings of algal blooms, but they're not officially confirmed. Last year, an emergency alert was sent out to Halifax residents after two dogs died and one person went to hospital after what was described as an unknown issue with the water in Grand Lake. There was an algal bloom spotted, but water samples by the Department of Environment and Climate Change came back negative. The list of lakes with reported sightings this year continues to fluctuate. With warmer temperatures and intense rainfall, those are good conditions to wash a lot of nutrients into the water and heat to allow anything in the lake to grow, and including blue-green algae. And so we expect with climate change to see more and more blue-green algae blooms and that's why we're really trying to get the word out for people to look out for it. If you see blue-green algae, it's important to keep your dogs and children away from it. Swimming near it can give you rashes, headaches and stomach aches. Kennedy says you should always be cautious about getting drinking water from a surface supply. Blue-green algae is a great example of how those supplies might not be as consistent and safe and they're more difficult to treat for toxins and and anything else that might be in the surface water so we always recommend that people switch to either a drilled well or a dug well that's constructed according to the regulations the first reports of blue green algae in nova scotia were recorded back in 2005.